How's it going everybody? I got this in the mail. It's a new release of the Ten Commandments, uh, the 1956 version with Charlton Heston. And I was going to open it and watch it. Figured I would just do a quick unboxing for people that are interested in this new uh, Digibook packaging for the re-release. This was put out on Blu-ray years ago. I think it's gone through some different packaging styles. One was like a really big box set. And I think the contents as far as like the discs and everything on those discs is the same. Uh, so really what's new here is just this kind of digibook packaging that's more, you know, shelf friendly. It doesn't take up nearly as much space as the large uh, collector's edition box. So let's just go ahead and take a look. I've already cut this open, so it'll be easier for me to just open it. I'm a fan of these digibooks. Um, I've got a couple already. One's for uh, The Exorcist. The other is uh, the first two movies from the Ghostbusters franchise. Um, so yeah, uh, we already kind of knew what the thing looked like. Uh, prominently featuring Charlton Heston on the cover, playing Moses. And there is something I'm noticing about this that you know, I'm kind of surprised, I don't know why, but the, you can probably pick up on the video that it's a, it's very purplish, like there's this purple hue going on on his skin and even uh, in his hair and along his staff. I don't really know why it looks like that. I'm kind of uh, disappointed in that stylistic choice, if indeed that was a choice or it's just a, a printing accident. Um, anyway, uh, that aside, um, Got a nice spine here showing the title, nice, big, and easy to read. And on the back, um, this is just kind of like a little paper cover. So if we take that off, it comes off nice and easy. We just have a continuation of kind of the desert, the Egyptian desert and uh, the sky that we had on the front cover. So it's all kind of one continuous image. Um, if you, we want to look at what's on the back here just to see uh, the features. Again, this is, this is two films in one, which kind of made it interesting for me. I, I've seen the 1956 version. Uh, it's been a long, long time, um, but I remember seeing it and watching it when I was a kid. And uh, this includes the 1923 version, which is also directed by uh, Cecil B. DeMille, as far as I understand. It's a silent version, uh, but I'm really interested to see what that looks like. Looks like we've got um, some special features. Uh, again, those are all the same as what was already in the previous release. Um, so nothing new necessarily. Let's just focus. Oh, there goes the disc. Not a good sign when you open up something for the first time. Um, hmm, let's see. So it looks like they stack on top of each other. We've got the... Uh, I'm guessing this is the, which one is which? I don't really know. But if we take them off, we can see, uh, in fact, I'll just set both discs down for the moment. And we'll take a look at just this inside art. Um, so we kind of got half of what appears to be the Red Sea parting on this end, and then uh, we got Moses over here leading his people out of Egypt. The story that became a worldwide phenomenon, it says. Not very inspiring uh, font here, kind of plain, but... Um, okay, cool. This looks like pictures of the actual set. You can see, like, the scaffolding um, around uh, these Egyptian structures. This looks like stuff from the silent film version. It's all black and white. Again, looking forward to seeing that. More from the silent film, I'm sure. You can see Charlton Heston over here. So just some nice stills, both from the film itself, like this shot is from the 1956 version, and also some behind the scenes, uh, you know, direction going on there. Overall, pretty nice selection of photos, and you know, I'm not reading all of this, but um, you know, enough information. Here looks like we've got a little actor and actress gallery going on here. Some pretty big names in the movie. I mean, aside from uh, Charlton Heston, we also got Yul Brenner, 
Um, Vincent Price, I mean, I didn't even really realize he was in this movie, um, Edward G. Robinson, and I'm afraid I don't know any of the female actresses' names or this fellow. More pictures, more text, and, oh, okay, there's a disc here at the end. Um, the famous, so let it be written, so let it be done there. So this is, looks like uh, the last single disc is the silent film version plus special features. And let's put the discs that go back here back in. So the first one looks like disc one. So I really want to get disc two, which is going to be slipped underneath. I'm noticing that it says feature film on uh, both discs. So I wonder if, uh, I mean, it's a really long movie. Um, I wonder if it's spread across two discs. It must be because it says uh, disc one, they both say the same thing. They both say feature film, special features and so does disc two as well. Interesting. Well, I'm probably going to watch this now. Um, not doing a review of the movie itself. If you haven't seen the Ten Commandments, you'd probably want to check it out first before you buy it. Again, I haven't seen it in who knows how long. Maybe, you know, it might have been like 20 years. Uh, I remember watching this as a kid. We had it on VHS tape. It was recorded from a television broadcast. So who knows? Maybe there's even new content in here that might have been edited out of the television version, um, you know, just to keep the time, the runtime down. Again, also excited to check out for the first time the 1923 films. I'll probably watch that first. Hopefully it's not as long. And then uh, enjoy the Ten Commandments for the first time in a very long time for me. A nice little digibook. I, I think it looks good, feels good, feels quality. Um, my only nitpick maybe would be, again, this kind of purple hue going on on the front cover. Uh, small gripe, you know, this is how it's going to appear on my shelf. Uh, it'll look good from the side. So there you go. That's the new Digibook edition of The Ten Commandments. Hope you enjoyed this and if you're a fan of the film you can pick this up for about $13 right now. Great price on a Digibook packaging.